Hello everybody, my name is Run, and today I'll be showing you how to make a sliding floor puzzle in RPG Maker. What I'm calling a sliding floor puzzle is sometimes known as an ice puzzle. When the player steps on a tile, they will continue to move forward until they hit a wall. The idea being that the floor is so slippery that they cannot control their movements. The first game that comes to mind that I encountered this in is Pokemon Gold and Silver. I think it was in the cave before the eighth gym. I could be wrong on that, but there is a pretty prominent ice puzzle in that cave. That's what gave me the idea for this video. This is actually super simple to do. We can boil it down to, I think, about four basic steps. The first thing you're going to want to do is create a new map. Uh, let's just make this 10 by 10. Whoops. Now you can adapt this to any map that you have. This is just me trying to get the groundwork laid so that you know how to implement this kind of system anywhere in your game. We're just going to call this map Ice Cave, not Kazov Cave. All right, so we wanna make sure that it is on the tile set that has our slippery floor, which will, in this case, this is a vanilla project, so this will be dungeon. We're gonna click okay. All right, let's make our border here real quick. Whoa, not what I meant to do. All right, we'll go ahead and add the bottom wall to the top half here. Let's go ahead and make our stone floor or whatever kind of floor that you're making. Now we're gonna grab our ice tile, and I think we're gonna do a four by four grid. So let's do one, two, three, four. This counts as the first tile going down. One, two, three, four. And then just fill that in. All right, so now that we've got our foundation built here, let us create a small area around the ice puzzle. This is to prevent players from getting in in any direction that they want. If they can get in from any direction that they want, that could potentially make your puzzle super easy. So we're gonna go ahead and put this around the corners here. And then we'll leave, we'll leave these two spots open. All right, now that we've got our terrain laid out here, we're gonna switch over to the event screen. We are going to create a ladder that will take us out of here to another map. So. Go to the event graphics and we'll choose our tile set and let's grab, um, I guess we'll grab the silver ladder. And then what this is gonna do is transfer the player and we'll just transfer them to this demon castle from the sample maps. Uh, with the direction facing up, okay. And then you wanna make sure that this happens on player touch. All right, now the goal is gonna be to get to this ladder now i just realized without a something blocking this they can literally just walk here straight forward into the ladder so we're actually going to grab another obstacle put it right here and then we could potentially take this one out if we choose but we'll see how that goes a little bit later all right now we're going to do the fun part what's going to happen is we're going to put an event on each one of these tiles but before we do that we're going to go to our common events you can see i already have one here but we're just going to delete this and we're going to make a common event called ice floor tile. The reason that you wanna do this as a common event is if something happens with the move route, with the pathing, you wanna be able to fix it just from coming to this one event because you're gonna have several events on each of these, you know, for each of these tiles. You don't wanna to have to edit every single one of these. That would get super annoying. So you wanna create this one tile event or the pathing or for the move route. All right, inside this ice floor tile, we are going to have it set a movement route for the player. We are gonna uncheck wait for completion, but we are gonna check skip if cannot move. And the only thing you're gonna add in here is one step forward. Click okay, click apply, or just click okay. Now that we have our common event set up, we're gonna create an event on any one of these floor tiles. I always encourage you to name your events. So we're just gonna name this ice floor tile, similar to the common event. And for the contents, we're going to just have it activate that common event that we made for the ice floor tile. Now, before you leave this screen, this is very important. Make sure you set the trigger to player touch make sure you do that and you'll see why in a second go ahead and click ok now what you're going to do is you're going to take this event you're going to right click copy 
or control C if you'd rather do that. And you're gonna go to each one of these floor tiles and just control V on every floor tile. And now the way this should function is every floor tile you touch should automatically move you forward. So when we come in here, we're gonna go up here and then up, up, up until we stop. If we move left, we can go left, left, stop. We go down, 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 stop, so on and so forth. Let's go ahead and create a starting position right here and we will test it out. All right, let's give it a shot here. Oh, look at that. And it moves us forward and you can try to see if you can move in other directions while you're sliding but it will not let you. Now this leads me into step three, which is arguably the most important step. And you should do this for everything you do in RPG Maker. And that's play test, play test, play test the crap out of your game. Because as you can see, we are currently soft locked. And what that means is we are now stuck. We can't, there's no way out because we can't get to this entrance here. So what we need to do is make a way for the player to leave this puzzle so that they can escape, All right? So let's go do that. Go here, let's see if the auto tile will handle this correctly. Auto tile is super weird sometimes. We're just gonna make this the way out. There we go. So now it's a player goes up and they get stuck where we were before, where they go left, go down, go right. They'll always have a way out right here. Now, going into the final step, you may notice that there's no actual way for the player to get to the ladder here. If you go up, you can just go left, down, or you can go right and it's just gonna lead you out. Same way if you enter in right here. It'll just go straight left and then you'll be exactly where you were just a second ago. So what we need to do is add some obstacles to stop the player in their tracks so that they can use that as a ramp to get to where they need to go. Now, the placement of these obstacles is up to you. And obviously the bigger the scale of your, you know, mapping or, or the scale of your ice floor puzzle, the more obstacles you're gonna need. For me, it's easier to start at the exit and work my way backwards to create a way out for the player. And so looking at this, they need to get to this tile. And I'm thinking if we have an obstacle here and an obstacle here, that should give them a pretty easy way out. Now you can do this one of two ways. You could delete these two events, go to your mapping, and then make sure you go to a layer that is above the ice and add an impassable floor tile there. I just prefer to use events for whatever reason. I think it's easier. I don't, the auto tile system kind of sucks and how it layers things sometimes. So I'm gonna go into here. I'm gonna change the priority to same as characters because that will put this obstacle on the same level as the character, which means they will be stopped by it. And we are gonna go into the graphic, go to the tile set and select an obstacle here. Press okay. And then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. Same as characters, go into the graphic, tile set, and there's our obstacle. Okay, so when the player goes straight up, they'll have the option to go left or right, left and down will lead them to the stairs. If they go right, it'll lead them out. Now that I'm looking at this, this puzzle seems fairly simple. You would just come in from the right side here, go left, go down and go right. I'm not sure why you would use this one because it's just gonna lead you, lead you to the same place. But once again, this is very simple. So let's play test this and make sure everything works okay. All right, so we go up here, that slides us there. We can go right down and that stops us right there. Uh-oh, hmm, a slight issue there. Ah, I see what I did. And this is why you always play test. Go into this event. It's same as characters, but there's also an event triggering on player touch. We want this to trigger on the action button. And we're gonna just delete this out of here. Same with the other event, delete this out of here, trigger on the action button. Okay, now let's give it another shot. Go left here, go down, and we are good. Golden, absolutely golden. So this is a pretty simple puzzle. It kind of leads you right to the stairs and then it teleports you right out of there. Like I said, this puzzle is incredibly easy to create. The biggest thing you needed to know was how to create the floor tiles and how obstacles work. And you can scale this to as big of an ice floor puzzle as you would like. You could make holes in the floor if you wanted to. If that's something you guys would like me to show you how to do, definitely let me know. I'll make a separate tutorial. If you like this kind of tutorial content or if you have any tips for me or anything like that, please comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see. 
what you liked about the video, what kind of mechanics you want to make, and I'll see if I can make it happen. I'm planning on continuing this series, so definitely subscribe if you wanna see more RPG Maker tutorials like this, and thank you all so much for your time today. Until next time, bye.